Hey, how's it going? It's Walsh here, sick as always. Welcome to episode 13 of my Ruthless SSF run on the Settlers League. Rerolling into this Slayer was the absolute best thing I could have done. I love the brand character, it's really fun. But I gotta tell you, man, having a Lycosa Day and having the uh, Frost Breath, such a fun combination. I love Glacial Hammer, but I pretty much never get to play it. It's just a very hard ability, to, or a very difficult ability to scale, really. But so far, it feels great. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you near the end. So, I just want to talk really quickly about my plans right now. Uh, so far, this character is absolutely amazing. I'm level 80, I'm very tanky. I even was doing enough damage where I felt fine enough to drop one of my damage supports. I dropped, uh... I don't know. I dropped something. <laughs> I dropped something for Fortify. It was... Oh, it was Momentum. That's right. I dropped Momentum. I'm using Fortify now. I feel pretty incredible where Rescat, my Chaos Res is even okay. My health pool is whatever. It's not terrible. It's not great. But uh, we're level 80, and it feels awesome. Having a great time. I'm going to be honest, though. <laughs> I'm starting to have second thoughts about rolling that jewel. I kind of gave in. I don't normally like to look stuff up. Also, sorry about my voice. Uh, I don't normally like to look stuff up just because I find it more fun to just, like, kind of figure it out. But I've spent so much currency on that jewel, it was starting to feel like I can't roll the mod I need. But according to uh, the PoE wiki, the updated one, that apparently it can, and I'm just getting very unlucky. So I'll keep rolling it for a little while, but honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to fully commit. I've spent so much money on it already, and uh, it feels kind of bad, but I might keep going for it. Because to be honest with you, I never get to play brands, and I really like that character. And if I just had Freeze Pro Lift, it would feel so much better. Anyway, though, with this, I'm just going to keep far- oh, I almost died there. I'm going to keep farming, uh, like, tier 12-ish, stay around there, maybe go back to tier 10s every once in a while. This character does ritual like a dream. It's, like, no joke. It feels, like, two to three times tankier than my, uh, <laughs> my fire trap. But, of course, you know, nothing compares to the DPS. Well, nothing I have compares to the DPS of the fire trapper, so... Also, I am using Molten Shell, even though it's way worse than Steel Skin right now. I really haven't optimized my setup, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of playing. Ritual so far has been a cakewalk on this character, and I uh, got a very nice blood vessel. Very nice. Really quickly, I just want to talk to you about my Ritual Tree setup. Uh, so this is my setup right now. It's very basic. Here's what I recommend you do, though. If you die in a Ritual more than once every, like, four Rituals, I recommend you take Immutable Dogma, unspec this entire wheel, Come down here, grab Sacrificial Dew, and what you're going to do is every single time you get a Ritual, just gather all of the little splinters you can, save up a bunch of Blood Vessels, and then once you have like, you know, three or four or however many you want, respec back into this tree, and then you can have some really juiced up Rituals, get a ton of favor, and possibly see some good stuff. Because to be honest with you, I use Profitable Prayers, but I don't think it's worth the three points. I almost never have enough to reroll it more than once. And if I defer something, I definitely can't. So I really don't think it's worth using unless you're using a Blood Vessel. But at the same time, if you're doing very... Is something attacking me? If you're doing really high tier maps, you're going to be fine. But this is mostly around if you're like between tier 8 and tier 12. I really don't think it's worth it to do this way. Highly recommend you use Dogma, but just want to talk about that really quickly. Right now, I'm mostly looking for a couple of support gems. Returning projectiles is a big one. I'm also missing a lot of minion support gems, which granted, I'm nowhere near actually playing a minion character right now, but I would like to get one done this league just because there are a few, uh, you know, things from Ritual I would like to get. Uh, outside of that, Ritual has been very kind to me. It got me another Omen of the Jeweler, which is fantastic. I don't really know what I'm going to use it on right now, but just having it feels nice. I got my first audience with the king deferred, so I'll get it eventually. No idea when, but uh, we'll get there. I actually got to defer it like two or three times in that one map, which is fantastic. I had a nice little stockpile of ambush, sc ambush scarabs, so I decided to use all of them together. And of course, uh, if you've never done this combination where you just have like a map full of strong boxes, wow, what an alchemy, my god. Uh, and also, you put on the uh, scarab that gives you the additional chance for it to open again. You can get a lot of loot, let me, let me tell you. Already the first box, I got four support gems, which is insane. Granted, they're duplicates of each other, but there are no complaints from me. I ended up opening this box four times in a row. Unfortunately, it was just a blacksmith box, so it's not really great. 
But, I mean, getting a pile of rares like this is always a good thing. You can just vendor them, get a bunch more currency, and <laughs> currency is what I need. Speaking of, I also got an Arcanist Strong Box, which is fantastic. I got the 2 Chaos Orb drop, and I got to open it a couple of times, which feels amazing. I actually have uh, Strong Boxes on my tree now, so it's not just a 15%. I also get the chance for my tree as well, so it's like 27 or something like that. Got a gem cutter box, which if you've ever, if you've never opened a gem cutter box on Ruthless with a double gem drop, you have to try it at least once because my god is it satisfying. Uh, every time I get a six socket, that's like a usable base. I'm not saying it's a good base, like it's kind of a whatever one, but I'll try to get a six links. If I can get a six link for the fire trap character, I might just spend a day and go grind for Uber Elder or something like that. To be honest, I really do think that the trapper could already do Uber Elder. But I just don't want to stop playing this character. If I can get to the point where I have an... Hey, time collapse. If I get to the point where I have enough gear where I don't have to cannibalize... Because here's the thing. I absolutely hate switching gear between two characters. Hey, level 82. Let's go. Like, I don't mind cannibalizing. But if you're constantly switching back and forth, back and forth, back and forth... It's very tedious. Uh, I decided to use my ritual strong bo or <laughs> my ritual scarabs. And, of course, I had my blood vessel. And holy cow. This character is perfect this is exactly what i need for ritual i had no issues at all i killed the three bosses every single time i got a ton of favor and not only did i get my audience with the king back but i found another one and i got a freaking arcanist brand if you are not doing ritual this league you are absolutely insane so i got my first audience with the king and i still have the other one deferring so i have at least two fights coming I went into the fight immediately after that, and uh, it was way easier than I remember. I remember during Affliction League, this boss being kind of scary. Granted, that could have just been because my builds were kind of weak, but I didn't die in the first phase, or maybe I died once. The main thing that killed me was in the second phase. I completely forgot the entire mechanics of this fight. I forgot about the not moving. I forgot about the moving. More importantly, I forgot about that terrifying ground dot. And let's see the loot. Is that Al Hesman? Uh, okay, the dream now is to get two more of those. I have no idea if that corpse is good. I am fairly certain for the entire Infliction League, I never got any of those uh, corpses. None of them. None of the boss corpses. At least I don't think so. I remember uh, seeing, like, uh, I think Hydra. I know Hydra exists, and she gives you, like, hatred or something. But I don't remember. I ran the Scarab that makes all your maps dropped as uh, eight modded uh, rare. So our 8 modded rare corrupted maps, which is fantastic. Don't know what I'm going to use any of them for, but I mean, hey, free free corrupted maps is pretty good. I know Astral Plates aren't really the best base anymore, but I just try to 6 link up for nostalgia. I hit a 5 link twice, but no 6 link, unfortunately. And I got a Hatred. And at first I was like, oh my god, I got a Hatred. But uh, it's actually worse than my Scarebot setup. And if I get a Bone Chill support, my damage is going to go up so much. Hey, Adrox, let's go. I've actually been getting pretty lucky killing the map bosses and getting a lot of guardians back. A couple of them have been duplicates, so that's no big deal. I am i don't know. I, I was going to say I don't think this character could do like any of the invitations, but it might be able to, but I'm really not certain. What I would really like to do is like if I got the gear for it, maybe one day switch over and have like the five endurance charges or whatever. Because I think ideally, I think the best way to get a ton of damage on this character, or at least one of the best ways, hey, Kirek, would be to uh, try and get a, uh, what's it called, trauma support gem. And maybe, just maybe, if I actually had a multi-strike, and if I had the endurance charges, maybe I could survive with a bunch of trauma, and maybe that trauma would actually give me a ton of damage. I don't really know. I'm going to have to mess around with it. It took me about 15 hours to hit level 83, which is pretty nice, all things considered. I've also been spending a lot of time in my hideout just trying to figure out my tree, because I didn't really come prepared, because why would I? Alva is being very kind to me this league. She gave me a Hex Touch, which is fantastic. Faster attacks is okay, I guess. I'm not going to use it on this character, but I will take it. And it's time to hopefully not brick my Grace. Well, I guess I can't really brick. Okay, nothing happened. I was kind of hoping to get a Val Grace, not for this character, but whatever. Time to delete. I missed. It's not deleted. Okay, the Heat Shiver is not deleted, but is it trash? Uh, I mean, can't be blinded is okay, I guess. It's not very good. It's not very good, but it did survive, so that's cool, I guess. 
did a little swap. We got <laughs> got some trash. And in the next map, or a couple maps after that, I actually got the Arcanist Strongbox, the unique one. And I got, f like, what, what, 54 currencies from that one map? Like, dude, it felt like I was playing Bench League. My god, people are talking about ships. Give me more, <laughs> give me more freaking unique Strongboxes. My god. I am getting really close to giving up on this jewel. I mean, I'm probably not going to give up on it because I hate giving up on a grind. But man, it feels really bad. I, I, I stopped counting. Hey, another red gear wreck. I have, uh, I have put a lot of Chaos Orbs, a lot of Scours, and a lot of Alchemies into that jewel. I thought, hey, Scooterbots. I thought about doing a, uh, like, Alteration rolling, but honestly, Alterations are way more valuable to me right now than Chaos, so I'm just going to stick to that. I got a pretty decent Prismatic Ring, but it's not good enough to use, so I'm going to hold on to it. Maybe if I slam it or something, I can reroll it. Got a cast of damage taken, so I have two of them. I am leveling this one up to be a little bit higher. That way, my steel skin is a little stronger. I'm still on the fence about using Fortify, because, like, yeah, it makes me way tankier. But, man, like, none of my damage ever feels bad, but, like, my single target doesn't feel amazing. Uh, finally, level 84, but I didn't even realize I can't wear my helmet, which breaks my little heart. Because apparently my fire res is trash, so uh, I need rings, man. I mean, it's nice to have two amethyst rings on, but like I have no good rings, and even the ones I have right now have like no res on them. They have like maybe one, maybe two rolls, but they're really low rolls, so I can't really res cap right now. So the dream of switching to dark ray vectors, the boots to give me plus one maximum frenzy is basically dead until I do. I need some ridiculous rings. I need at least one ring that gives me like a hundred res or more. Oh my god. Okay. Well, <laughs> I have multi-strike now apparently. All right. I can tell you right off the back, even at level one, I could significantly feel the difference of multi-strike. It is disgusting. It doesn't make a huge difference for my single target right now, but for the clear speed, my god. Uh, I went to do my Phoenix map, but for the first time this league, I had an instance crash, and I lost the entire map. Hey, if you may have started the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I am loving this build, and more importantly, I am loving having currency. I have a lot of alchemies, but I can't really use them right now. I keep deleting my scour orbs. I have a bunch of chance orbs, but pretty soon I'm about to switch my tree over. Uh, right now for my tree, I'm not using my number one tree. This one's mainly when I'm like focusing on just getting altars or just getting uh, you know, like boss drops or whatever. But pretty much most of the time I'm using this tree right here, which I use for ritual. I have the strong box stuff. I even came down here and got secret compartments. To be honest with you, I wasn't gonna take this. But this additional 2% chance to get a strong box is pretty amazing. And of course, when you combine it with this down here, so that's pretty nice. Uh, on top of that, you know, we have our shaping stuff. So I have a 42%, uh, so I'm basically 92% chance to get a plus one. I have 30% increased map drops. I also have Seance, and I'm going to tell you right now, if you can spare four points, Seance is incredible. You're not It's not going to be amazing every time it procs, but man, it's so consistently good. You know, give you an Alchemy here or there, give you a Val Gem, give you an Etsiri Fragment, all kinds of stuff you can get. Smugglers gives you a free Unique. It's a great time. I love it. Um, but basically, I use this tree on level or Tier 13 or less. Sometimes I do Tier 14 above. But doing any tier 14 above without having your uh, remnants of the past and conquered conquerors feels really bad. Now, in terms of my maps, everything is going well. I just did a bunch of grinding. I ran out of tier 16s because I was doing dumb stuff. But, you know, we're good. We have infinite res. We're fine. I'm not, like, infinite 14 plus yet. But that's to be expected because a lot of the time I keep switching to this tree. But when I'm on this tree, it's good. You know, I got 32% map drops and I have 100% chance for maps to be plus one. But it's really hard for me to use this tree because after using the strong boxes on the other tree for so long, it's hard to go back. Like, strong boxes are so satisfying. I love them so much. I was thinking about taking Seance on this tree, but it's kind of hard to spare four points. I mean, yeah, I could cut this line here, but I'm kind of liking it right now. But I'll probably do it at some point. Uh, anyway, outside of that, I'm still working on crafting a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I keep grabbing these stupid ones. Every time I do two stones, I always get the same one. Uh, where's that ring, actually? I got a couple of decent prisms in here. I got a couple of decent rings. Like, this one's okay. It's probably the best uh, resistance ring I have. But again, it has no fire res. I really need to use this helmet. Like, this helmet would give me so much. Like, look at my armor, man. My word. <laughs> it's so much. The, like, what I would like to do is find a ring that just has high uh, fire res and no, cold, or no lightning. 
Because look, this one only has cold on it. This one only has lightning on it. But of course, I need the chaos res. It's like my worst resistance, obviously, like most people. Uh, I have 36% chance to block spells, which is okay. My spell suppression is pretty embarrassing. I was using quick step, but I literally can't use it now because I need the intelligence, which is really awkward. But at the same time, it's kind of hard to replace this amulet. I mean, look at it. Look at that flat cold damage. My god, the attributes, the resist, the life. It's all pretty amazing. But the reality is the reason all this is so hard is the Lion's Eye Vision. I was strongly considering switching over to a 5 link and not having the 6 link. That way I could also have a really good body armor and I could like, you know, put my Eater and uh, Exarch mods onto it. I just don't think it's worth it. But until then, or until I get some crazy rings, I'm not going to be able to use the Dark Ray Vectors, which sucks. Because man, if I put this on, I I'm going to be honest with you. If I get this, there's a really good chance I switch my tree over and I take a uh, masterful form, I'll probably drop Overwhelm, which will feel kind of bad. But to be honest with you, my crit chance isn't crazy anyway. I mean, what is it right now? Am I on the right thing? What do we got? What do we got? I'm blind. I'm blind. 18%. It's not great. But at the same time, we do have Assassin's Mark, and I do get power charges. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm talking too much. My gear is whatever. I got a lot of uniques. Hopefully, I get something good over the next couple of days, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.